Hi, welcome back to the Kiddos YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how to set up certificate-based authentication in Cisco Meraki network. So first we're going to go here and we're going to go to our SSID and we're going to select the one that we want to edit. In this case, it's going to be Kiddos doc and we're going to set it to enabled and we're going to save changes. And in this video, I have already created the PKI. Um, I'm going to link the video of how I did that down below. It honestly takes five minutes to do that, connect it to Intune or Jam for anything and send the certificates. Uh, I just want to keep this video a little bit brief, but literally the video is six minutes uh, long. So make sure to check that out. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit settings. And in here, we're going to change our authentication to enterprise and we're going to use my radius service. And here I like changing it to WPA3. It's not really required. You can technically use two. And then we're going to go to radius. And here I already cheated a little bit. So I'm going to delete this in this server. And now we're going to actually go and create the radius server. First, we have to go to the keto documentation. Don't worry. I'm linking this page down in the description down below. And we have to register both the Kitos application and the Easy Radius application. This is going to give Kitos the right permissions to access your tenant and talk to your Intune to check the devices and, and do all those things. So what we have to do is with a global admin account, we're going to click on the first URL. We're going to sign in and we're going to grant access. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other application. While it seems like the same process, we have to do it twice. Now that we have done this, in this case, I'm going to use the Azure creation method, but don't worry, we're not creating any resources in your Azure tenant. This is a way to bill through Microsoft. So you don't have to add another vendor or anything like that. You can just go here, type easy radius and select your plan and click subscribe. And here we're just going to use whatever subscription and, and resource group we want to use. As I said, this is just for billing and we're going to call it cloud radius 24. And then in here, we're going to go to review and, and subscribe and we're going to click subscribe. Now that it, this has finished on Azure, we have to go to configure account. And here we're going to select our deployment location. I'm going to leave it in Europe for this case, and I'm going to do create instance. This is going to register us in an easy radius instance, and it will give us a URL. It's recommended to bookmark this URL just to access it easier than having to go through Azure every single time. And now in here, you'll be able to create all the policies and everything else. And now that we have created the server, we're going to go to policies and we're going to create a policy. And here I have already created one, but so this would be empty and it would just look like this. And we're going to call it Meraki policy. And we're going to enter our IP addresses And here. I can just click my IP address and it will add it. If you have many, you can either do it manually or upload a CSV file. And we're going to click add. It'll randomly create a shared secret, but you can change this to whatever you want as long as you click save at the top. And then we have to do accepted certificate authority. So if you're using an integrated CA such as EasyCA, uh, it'll actually just go here and it'll show you your certificates and you can just add the certificates, the CAs that you want to add. If you're using something like Intune PKI or your own ADCS or something like that, it's as simple as just clicking here, selecting if it's a root CA or not, and uploading the certificate. And so either way, super easy to do. And this basically sets up that any, so far, any certificate issued by this, it's going to be, any certificate issued by this CAs will be trusted in this um in this policy. We're going to narrow that down in a second. 
And then for the server certificate, you can do auto generated and easy radius is just going to create a certificate chain to an easy radius CA. If you already have your easy CA, you can make it that it actually chains up to your own certificate authority just to make it, you know, the same certificate and your clients don't have to trust two different CAs. And then it's simple as cl clicking request certificate. And then while that loads, we can start creating the policy details. So now the certificate for the radio server will be automatically rotated. We don't have to care about it ever again. So then uh, we have to do policy details. And for that, we're going to just call it students, assuming that this is a school. And we can enable password authentication, but in this case, we're going to use certificates only. And we're going to make it that it matches with entry ID, object IDs. So you can make it that it's like based on user or device. And that depends on how you set up your PKI with Intune. In this case, we're going to do, let's say, device. And we're going to do that in the subject alternate name. Um, we put that device and the identifier and it's an Intune ID. And if it's a valid Intune ID, we're going to check for that compliance. And if it, it's valid, then we're going to add it to a specific filter ID and we're going to call that filter ID test and we're going to add that policy. And then we could add another policy saying like non-compliant and same, we would leave no password authentication. Uh, match with entry ID, for example, if you still want to match or if you want to trust any certificate issued by those CAs. And, you know, you can do the same, find the same identifier. But in this case, don't check for compliance. So it will basically be in order. Whatever is first is going to check that and then it will catch all. Or you could do, you know, like one is for users, uh, for students, and you select check group membership and check that they're part of the students group. Or you can make it the... Um, so it's as many as you want to do, and you can assign a VLAN or a filter ID. So in here you could say no compliant. And then we are going to add that policy. We can sort them and anything else will be uh, failed. So then after that, we're going to just do create policy. And as simple as that, we have created our policy. Now we can go back to here and we're going to add our ready server. Um, so in here we can add the server IP address and then the auth port is one, eight, one, two. And then we enter the secret that, that we created and we can do the same. Um, we, we're going to click done and we could do the same for each IP address add up to three and the same for accounting. We can do the same for accounting. Um, the only difference is that accounting is 1813 and this sends more information to the radio server. Uh, it's not really needed. If you don't need it, you can leave it without it. And in here, if we, since we said filter ID, we, we would be using filter ID. And then after that, we're, that's kind of it. Uh, you can change VLAN and all that stuff if you really need to. In this case, we're going to keep it simple. And we're going to click save. And now we should be able to test it as a user. Um, instead of waiting for, and now we can test it as a user. Instead of waiting for Intune to push the certificate and everything, if you're using EasyCA, we can just go here and enable self-service user certificates, which I have already done for some of our CAs here. And Basically, I mean, this is a SCEP URL and everything and here. We're going to do enable SCEP uh, and here we're going to do enable self-service user certificate issuance, which means that the users could come to the portal and create a certificate, install it in their computers. And you just set kind of like the profile, how you want it. So you can make it that it has the, their user principal name and the subject name, uh, kind of the same as Intune. Uh, we have all the information on how to do that in our documentation here. Um, and so I have already done that and you can just go here, download the Wi-Fi auth certificate and we can install this certificate. And this is just for manual testing real quick. If not, you can, you know, push it through Intune and have Intune automatically connect to Wi-Fi and everything. But I recommend 
doing all the troubleshooting and everything like this so you don't have to wait for Intune to be pushing and doing all that stuff. So then we can save it and install it and, and do all that stuff. And then we can uh, actually go ahead and test it. So um, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to the Kitos docs and we're gonna connect. And here it's using for a username and password or a certificate. So I'm gonna click a certificate. I'm gonna select the certificate that we just installed. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna continue to connect. This can be skipped in Intune if you trust the, the certificate from the radio server. And we're gonna click connect. And as simple as that, we're connected. If there's an issue or anything like that, you can always check your Cisco logs to make sure what's going on. But also, Easy Radius has audit logs. So you can go to your Easy Radius, click audit logs, and click get logs. And in here we can see the authentications. So um, as simple as that. So this is how you authenticate into Meraki using certificates. Thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.